Al Hilal to get their Asian Champions League campaign off to a start. A grand saga this, potentially spanning a period of nine months or so. They travel across land and sea in an epic clash of cultures and customs, philosophy and so much more. A very welcome to you, whatever time of day it is with you. We're glad to be able to invite you to join with us as we broadcast the first day of this splendid competition. This is one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. This really is a great time of the season, a real sense of renewed expectation from all parties. This could be their chance. Yes, and we'll have a lot of different paths taken from this point, Peter, in, in this competition. But right now, it's true to say that belief and optimism is, is rife amongst all the clubs. And ultimately, it may come down to who has the best mix of, of trusted seniority and, and youthful endeavour. And I'm really looking forward to see who's going to emerge strongest. So it's down to business here. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? I've got to go for the powerful Bafatimbi Gomis. Uh, he may not be an example of technical perfection, but his robust style helps him to get the job done, right? And the finish! Goal! Al Hilal! And that's got him off to a flyer! Gomis with the smoothest one-on-one -on -one finish. He is one very cool customer. Well, was there ever any doubt? It made it look like he's done it over and over and over again, and he has. Al Hilal go ahead, one goal to the good. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Oh, that's a foul, free kick's been given. of the highest order and he's produced a beauty That has certainly made things interesting. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal. It just got caught napping. And here's Gomis. He's picked him out. Hits one! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. Yeah, but... That's the threat posed by teams that have those kind of players who are willing to make those types of runs.
So midway through the first half, and it is a tight old tie. Gomis. Out to the right. Andre Carrillo. Gomis. Andre Carrillo. This chance! Quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. So we have a breakthrough, now how will things develop from here? Hoist it forward. And here's Gomis. What a size of goal here. He's gone for it. Oh, so close to what would have been a memorable goal. Well, the run was really impressive. The finish was depressive, and expectations were not met. It's on a plate. No foul, says the referee. Shot a goal! And that's it for the first half. A breathless ending. And the team still separated by one goal, but it should be very different. It's kind of a hard one to call, Peter, isn't it? I mean, from what we've seen so far, both sides have provided ample evidence that they can add more goals, and I'm sure their respective managers have reminded them that the next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, it's still anyone's game, as, as both sides have shown they have goals in them. As for the next one, should it arrive, um, that may have a bigger bearing as to who emerges victorious. Al-Hilal get into the half-time break with a narrow advantage. It is 2-1. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. No changes at the interval from either side. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Gomis is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, and as their most significant attacker, he isn't about to receive any generous invitations. It's quite a run, and he's not done yet. Aimed him towards the centre. And he's there to cut it out. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything. Real chance! And in it goes! 
They have done it! They have their equaliser! And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. Quite a thriller this one's become. Well, that goal just serves to give them the momentum and psychological edge now at this stage, but for me, they've got to chase a winner. Now it's Carrillo, plays it back. Short sure. going for goal! Goal! Al Hilal! And they've got their lead back. Oh, what a cracking goal, but... A cracking touch as well, that's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Al-Hilal get themselves into the lead. I think the danger for them now is fatigue. I think when the body tires, the mind soon follows. So concentration is key from here. The final... He's had a shot! Oh, good effort. He got plenty on that. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. It is now or never, time is against them. <laughs> and that is that. Now well, that's the way to launch the campaign. Now they can look ahead with confidence and comfort. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, pressure can quickly build on you if a positive result isn't achieved in your opening group match. Instead, they can take great confidence now from a very good victory and look ahead with real belief. <laughs>